We welcome you to ESPN's College Football Primetime and Championship Saturday on a potential night of enthronement and enshrinement for one team out of the state of New Jersey, the Rutgers University Scarlet Knights. Tonight, they take on the 9-2 West Virginia Mountaineers here at sold-out Mountaineer Field over that helped turn things around for Rich Rodriguez and this entire program. With the win tonight, they would become the winningest senior class in school history, featuring back-to-back 10-win -back seasons. The Mountaineers standing in the way of Rutgers and a potential Big East title. Rich Rodriguez says he doesn't want the Scarlet Knights to be partying at midfield. Get this thing underway. A couple of great special teams player back on the opening kick for Rutgers. Willie Foster, number 84, and James Townsend, number 83. But no kickoff return this time. Second and ten. Pass complete to Kenny Britt. Britt has a first down and now he's near the 40-yard line. Britt coming off a great week last week. He has to keep things loose for the running game. First down and 10 out near the 40-yard line. They hand it off to Young, and Young breaks one down to the 46-yard line. Cordell Young, not Ray Rice that time, as well as down in Gainesville. And be very interesting to see tomorrow which one of those two teams will advance to play Ohio State? Mike Teal to pass, throws a nice ball complete to Underwood, and Underwood picks up another Rutgers first down deep into Mountaineer territory. And they're the best blitzers for this West Virginia defensive unit. A 30-yard pickup on that last play. And it's Ray Rice bouncing it outside, breaks a tackle, Ray Rice, touchdown, Scarlet Knights. An impressive opening salvo fired by Rutger. And Jeremy Ito in now for the extra point. Rutgers hasn't won here ever. Not near field. Third down and six for West Virginia. Brown working out of the shotgun. Well, he looked like Pat White on that play. Brown out to the 36-yard line, getting the first down. Just inside the 35-yard line. Brown working out of the shotgun. Hands it off to Slayton, and Slayton picks up another first down at the 47-yard line. Got a nice block from Owen Schmidt. Jared Brown in a quarterback. Pat White in his almost 3,000 yards of total offense on the sidelines. Brown with the pass to Slayton. First down, Mountaineers at the 21-yard line. On their blitzing and the ability to get numbers up on the line of scrimmage to stop the run. Tenth play of the drive, Brown. And it's dropped incomplete over the middle at the nine-yard line. Knocks this one through, and West Virginia answers, not with a touchdown, but with it lyrically comes in the second half and on into the fourth quarter. Little blitz coming from West Virginia, and a man open downfield at the 30-yard line. It's complete. Down to the 24, Kenny Britt continues to make big plays for Rutgers, and it's a first down and 10, Cordell Young in the backfield. Young on the toss. Young hit hard at the 18-yard line. Larry Williams making the stop on the play. Boy, that is Connecticut. You think the Wolverines are watching that game right now? Big time. You think they're tuned in? Third and seven coming up. Complete underneath, but short of the first down on the reception. There's Underwood from 36 yards out. 15 of 19 on the year, none bigger than the game winner against Louisville. And this one will help too. Ito gives Rutgers a 10 to three. The pro level and the college level of, of moving the umpire. Brown completes the pass down to the 35 yard line. Brandon Miles, 107 coming up. 
Brown working out of the shotgun. And he put it on the ground. It's loose. And the Mountaineers appear to have recovered the fumble. It was not loose by Ramil Meekins. The positions. McAfee can attempt this field goal from about 48 yards out. And it comes up about a yard or so short. So the press conference said, hey, I might have violated protocol, but it seemed right to get him the record at home. Teal in the pocket. Fires a dart complete at midfield to Tim Brown. Tim Brown makes the catch. Rutgers with the ball. Leonard in motion. Teal incomplete at the 30-yard line. It was intended for his tight end, Clark Harris. One of the team's leading receivers hasn't caught a ball in the passing game where the Scarlet Knights are going to continue to load up. Second down and 10. They're going to run it this time. A gaping hole up the middle that calls D. Slayton's name. Slayton on the move. First down, West Virginia into Rutgers territory. Face mask, one of the top defensive units in the country. Third down and five coming up. Brown on a predetermined run, won't get anywhere. He's going to lose about four yards back to the 40-yard line. Frierson making the stop on the play with 4.40 to go in the first half. Doom they predicted after he left. Thompson has done a super job coming in at quarterback for the Sooners. Third and nine, Young. Right down short of the first down of the 13. Fourth down coming up, and Rutgers will have to punt. West Virginia, seven-point lead. Slate now, David, split wide as a receiver. Third and ten, Brown finds his man complete for a first down at the 26-yard line. Tito Gonzalez makes the reception. Third and short, Brown going to run it. Looks like he got the first down crossing that line. But they're out of timeouts. Thompson made the stop for Rutgers. And that 32-yard field goal attempt, McAfee. He drills this one through to cut the Rutgers lead to four points with 13 seconds to go now in the first half. Brown hands it off. Slayton still on his feet. And Slayton with a first down into Rutgers territory at the 48-yard line brought down by an intent. Brown open, has his man. Tallow. Jarrell with a nice move all the way down to the two-yard line. First and goal, Mountaineers, a 40. Schmidt and Slayton out of the eye. Third and goal, West Virginia. Slayton over the top. Touchdown. at the end of the football season hung on to it that time and now with the extra point from McAfee West Virginia little bubble screen complete and Britt brought down behind the line of scrimmage short of the first down nice stop it was so well loaded down the stretch that's why you got it decided in a playoff third and three coming up for the Mountaineers Brown under heat. Got it off in time. Forward progress is going to be marked up at the 40-yard line to Miles. Press box. They're constantly in the no huddle offense. That is a lot to handle for a young quarterback in a big game. On third and ten, a little heat coming from Rutgers. Brown with an alley. And then some. Brown. Touchdown. Oh. Took it downtown. It sure was. 
don't want to break the young Colt that much. Extra point is good from McAfee, and West Virginia has surged ahead here and stumbled. Louisville would get the BCS bid. Louisville rooting for the Mountaineers right now. Teal trying to get it all back right here, and he has a man. Brown. Oh, we got it all. Back at you big time. 72 yards in a burst. For the big win. Nito with the extra point. Flags down. Think. Third and 22. Brown down the seam, and it's complete. Tallow again with another big catch. Second and three coming up. Young in the backfield. Teal with a bootleg. Complete. Now to the 45 to, to his tight end, Clark Harris. You think at night's here. Teal, complete underneath for the first down and then some. And a jarring hit put on Kenny Britt. But he picked up the first down. They moved the... Underneath complete. And it appears as if Townsend may have gotten the first down with that last get. <laughs> Leonard and Rice both split out as receivers. And it's complete to Britt, but he's short of the first down. And in comes game-winning field goal against Louisville. This coming from a pretty sharp angle. No problem for Jim Rivers back for this kickoff. It'll be Raynaud at the two. Raynaud still on his feet. And Raynaud with a nice kickoff return into Rutgers territory. Reese Davis, an impressive run by Raynaud in 10 for West Virginia after that 51 yard kickoff return. Steve Slayton on the carry. And Slayton down to the 39. Green made the stop on the play. We're talking a little BCS during the commercials behind the line of scrimmage. Sacks. Third down and 12. Picked off at the 18. Fort Thompson. And Rutgers comes up with a huge defensive play with just under down and 10 from the 46. Ray Rice. Rice with a first down inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. And now we're going to keep it right here. The momentum changer. Leonard is the lone back. He gets the call on third down and he powers forward for the first down. Brian Leonard, the fifth year senior who passed up on Notre Dame and Penn State and other big schools, stuck with Rutgers. Leonard the back beside Teal. Into the end zone, and it's dropped. Townsend had it and couldn't squeeze it. No doubt about it. Jeremy Edel with another field goal, his third at the time. That's going to help him on this clock drive. Last time out, he threw an interception into the arms of LeBron Thompson. Passes this time safely complete. Out to the 39 yard line to Jallo. And Jallo's defense. Big play coming up for Brown at quarterback here. Downfield complete. First down at the 36 yard line to Renan. With 218 and you have timeouts. On second and eight. Down complete. Down to the 20-yard line. Jallo again. And 
They are in field goal range at the very least in case West Virginia scores a touchdown or if they tie the game, you want time to come down the field and potentially win in regulation with a field goal. Brown on a predetermined run, stopped up short of the first down. Big play by Meekins. Chopped a little wood there and a timeout called. Opportunity here for West Virginia. Different type of circumstance. Back of feet. Tied at 23. 53 seconds to go for Rutgers on offense coming up after the kickoff. Situation at BCS title. Goes Goes away. Away. Teal complete near midfield to Britt. 34. Mike Teal with a nice throw on the post corner. Picked up 20. Given time again. There's a flag down at the 31 yard line. The catch made by Britt. All time from 50 plus. For the win. No good. Fifteen yard line for the first down. Empty formation, five receivers for Brown. Over the middle, high, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And McAfee going to be forced to try a field goal before today. This one coming from 42. And he is true. They're going to stay right here. McAfee, good for has been Britt. Britt has gone for over 106 yards receiving today. Teal. Incomplete, and it's fourth down coming up. Intended for Tim Brown, who cut that touchdown earlier. And yards out straight away. For the tie. Easy. And we'll go to another second overtime period. Going over 100 yards receiving for the first time. Rice. Rice still on his feet. He gives you those yards after contact, and he gets the first down. Inside the 15-yard, first and 10. And the second overtime. Rice again. Rice! Down to the two-yard line. And another first down for Rutgers. Well, against Louisville. In breather. Brian Leonard, the lone back on first and goal. Leonard. Touchdown! The fifth-year senior punches it home. And a body blow to the Mountaineer defense. In the second overtime session. Ito in for the extra point. Knocks it through, giving Rutgers a seven-point lead, 33-26. to 26. And now, just one defensive seat. A touchdown to keep things going. Into another overtime period. Third down and five. Downfield, caught, and a first down and goal. What a throw by Jared Brown to Brandon Mott. 19, Owen Schmidt and Steve Slayton lining up out of the eye. Slayton, and they're an extra point away from tying it up. Tall guy at 6'6", six, six, almost 6'7", six, in to try and block this extra point. Number 81, keep an eye on the middle of your screen. Nothing doing. McAfee wants no part of that. In here before this is over. On second down. Brown looked like he wanted to throw downfield. Touchdown, Miles. Oh, what a grab. They spread out the field, Brown, and they got it. Jallo again. Ray Wrights has gone over 100 yards rushing. They're going to throw. 
Teal complete to his tight end, Johnson. And Johnson with a nice run. Pushed out of bounds. Short of the first down. They're going to mark it at about the set. Second and one coming up for Rutgers. Rice got the first down. A gaping hole for Ray Rice. Down to the two-yard line. And <laughs> Rutgers <laughs> invariable. And Sosa. Leonard and Rice in the backfield. Now they empty it out except for Rice back there. Touchdown, Rutgers. Rice got in. And the two-point conversion here to tie it up. To go. As now he's going to operate out of the shotgun. They empty out the backfield. Five receivers. Rice split to the top of your screen. Teal. Nobody open. No good. It's over. Mountaineers win.